In a world where grades often define our future, academic stress has become an invisible burden carried by millions. Deadlines loom, expectations rise, and sometimes it feels like there is no way out. But what happens when that pressure becomes overwhelming? Academic pressure can be described as the stress or anxiety students feel when they were expected to succeed or perform well in school. It can come in from a variety of sources, such as teachers, parents, peers, or even our own expectations. But what happens when we can meet these expectations? For many students, this leads to anxiety. Studies show that excessive academic stress can take a toll on both mental and physical health. It's time to redefine success. Let's promote for healthier, more balanced approaches to education where mental well-being matters just as much as academic performance because you are more than your grades. So how can we deal with it? Let's talk about some practical strategies that can help you manage academic pressure. Tip number one, create a schedule. Break tasks into smaller steps and plan ahead. Use planners or digital tools to map out your assignments, exams, and deadlines. Prioritize tasks. Focus on the most important and urgent assignment first. Tip number two, set realistic goals. Break tasks into manageable parts. Large tasks can seem overwhelming. So divide them into smaller, achievable steps. Focus on progress, not perfection. Aim for gradual improvement rather than perfect results since perfection can increase stress. Tip number three, seek support. Talk to someone. If you're feeling overwhelmed, reach out to friends, family, are a counselor for support. Use academic resources. Don't hesitate to ask your professors, friends, or peers for clarification or help. Many schools also offer guidance counseling like SDPC. Tip number three, self-care. Prioritize sleep, exercise, and healthy eating to maintain physical and mental health. Tip number five, be kind to yourself. Understand that it's okay not to be perfect. Give yourself credit for the effort, not just the result. Tip number six, incorporating with friends. Socialize strategically. Plan study session with friends. This can help you stay motivated and accountable. Fun breaks. Use breaks to connect with friends, engage in hobbies, or listen to music that energizes you. Tip number seven. Use music as a tool. Listen to calming or instrumental music while studying. Avoid music with lyrics that might distract you. Ensure you're eating well, getting enough sleep, and allowing yourself downtime. Lack of sleep and poor nutrition can worsen stress. Set boundaries. Learn to say no to unnecessary commitments or distractions that can eat into your study time. And 
lastly, tip number nine, positive mindset. Reframe negative thoughts. Challenge any self-critical or catastrophic thinking by focusing on your strengths and accomplishments. Celebrate small victories, acknowledge and reward yourself for completing tasks no matter how small. While it's important to develop individual coping strategies, there's also a bigger conversation to be had. Schools and educational institutions need to recognize the mental health toll that academic pressure can have and work towards creating a more balanced and supportive environment. Remember, your mental and physical health are more important than any grade or achievements. It's okay to ask for help. Take a break and prioritize your well-being. Let's work together to break the cycle of overwhelming academic pressure and create a healthier path for success.